Hi everyone, thank you very much for joining me again. Um, this is the third part of my um, Ether channel configurations. Uh, my previous videos I've configured the on mode and the PAG P mode. So we're going to do the last one which is the LACP mode. So I've got my lab set up here, I've got the two switches and I've got them connected using Fast Ethernet 13 and 14. We're going to create this port channel 1 and then we're going to use LACP protocol to form the Ether channel. Um, for testing purposes, I've got a couple of routers, router 1 and router 2, which are already connected and configured, and I've put them into VLAN 100. So as soon as that Ether channel comes up, um, e we should be able to ping from router 1 to router 2. Okay, so if we just get cracking, so do show run interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 13. So there's no config on there at the moment. Okay, just quickly go into that. So it's interface range. Fast Ethernet 0 slash 13 dash 14 and the command is channel group 1 mode and this is where you select which mode you want it in so the, the two LACP modes are active and passive um, I've already done the um, auto and desirable which is the PAG P mode and the on mode in my previous videos um, so uh, just a, a reminder that if you got uh, one end active and the other end um, passive then it will form an LACP ether channel if you've got active active it will form an LACP ether channel but if you've got uh, passive passive at both ends then it will never form an ether channel because in passive mode it never tries to negotiate any parameters it, it waits for the other end to initiate the connection so um, you have to be careful with that make sure that you you've either got it as active at one end and passive at the other or active active at both ends so it makes sense just to leave it both ac active active but um, not problem so what we'll do is we'll do active so it's created the port channel for you so if you just go into interface port channel 1 and then apply the trunk configuration so we're going to go um, switch port trunk encapsulation dot 1q so on the modern switches you don't have to specify dot 1q trunk because the the new modern switches do not do ISL they only do dot one Q so you don't have to specify that but this is a, uh, a 3560 I've got here which can do both so and then you just switch port mode trunk and that's it so if you do just a show run interface fast Ethernet zero slash thirteen so you can see it's applied the um, channel what I applied in the in the in the port channel configuration into the interface itself and then look at fourteen then show run interface port channel 1 okay and then show ether channel summary and you see um, both of those ports are now into the ether channel um, but it's got a W next to it which means it's waiting to be aggregated that's because the other end hasn't been configured yet but as you can see that the protocol is running is LACP at the moment so it's it's in active mode so it's waiting for the other end to start talking to it basically Okay, so let's go and configure the um, switch to end. And show run interface fast Ethernet 0 slash 13. Again, there's no configuration on there. So we're going to conf t interface range fast Ethernet 0 slash 13 dash 14. And then we'll do channel group 1 mode. Again, I've, I've done the other end as active, so we'll just test it, make sure it works. We'll put this end as passive. Okay, and then exit out of that. Interface port channel one, switch port trunk encapsulation dot one q and switch port mode trunk. Okay, show ether channel summary. So it's still waiting to connect. It takes a, a minute or so, but if we just have a show run interface fast Ethernet zero slash thirteen. So the config looks good. They both look good just to show Ether channel summary again. So at, at this present moment, it's waiting to start the negotiations. So waiting the other the other end has to initiate the the LACP negotiations. So we'll see that come up in just a second now. So just quickly, um, not quite up yet. Let's just quickly look at switch one. Oh, show Ether channel summary. Yeah, it's, uh, it looks like starting to initiate the connection. Yes, so one of them's in P, which means 
P means it's it's um, part of the port channel now, so it looks like it's connected. Yeah, just check, double check that on switch two. Yeah, you can see that's showing. It takes a few seconds, but it's there. And there we go. So both of those are now bundled into the port channel. We should be able to do a show spanning tree three one hundred. And it's still learning, so it's nearly there. So what, as soon as that's forwarding, we should be able to ping from our routers, and that's forwarding now. So if I just bring up my my routers here, okay, just make sure you can see that. Okay, so all right, so this end is ten one one. So if we just do a ping ten dot one dot one dot two, yep, that's successful. And we just go to router two and quickly look at the yeah ping. 10.1.1.1 and that's successful also. So if we set off a nice big ping here, so if we do a ping 10.1 and then we repeat that quite a few times, so it carries on pinging. Right, we start bringing the interfaces down. So if we go into Comfy Interface Fox, and there's 013, we shut that down. So at this point, we shouldn't lose anything because we still got the second channel working yeah so you can see that's gone down yeah but this one's still working and there's no problems so if we just do a show interface fast ethernet 013 you can see it's administratively down so if we now shut down the um, second one we should lose everything so if we do interface 14 shut that down we should lose the pings completely now And that's got that's gone down now. So both interfaces are down and the pings are completely stopped. If we just quickly look at show ether channel summary. And yep, so both interfaces are down. So let's start bringing those up. So if we bring up fast ethernet 13 and then 14. So yep, so first one's connected already, second one's waiting, and they're both connected. So now we're just waiting for spanning tree. So it's listening, learning. As soon as that's forwarding, our pings should start returning back to normal. Always takes forever when you're watching it. But and there we go, it's forwarding and there the pings are returned back to normal. So and that's it. It's really straightforward LACP mode on Ether channels. Um hope you found that useful and thank you very much for listening.